Welcome guys to the first episode of the 1960s. Ah, this feels good. Last episode, we built this farm from scratch. I built this, and this is the first episode where we're actually farming, like we're actually doing it. First things first, it's 9.30. I gotta head on down, meet my brothers down at the pancake breakfast, and then we're gonna get started harvesting. By the way, in case you guys are heading to the Farm Progress show, I'm gonna be there on Tuesday, and Rental Man Buck is gonna be there on Tuesday and Wednesday. If you see Rental Man, give him a holler, tell him hi, slap him for me. And there's my brother Nate, going by also. Looks like he's heading to get pancakes. We'll get the radio turned on here, if I can find 1040. <laughs> boys beat me here that's a first well not like there really was anything else to do but the problem is that it's packed in there right now there's it's, it is it's, el it's elbow to elbow at the tables well i mean it's it's fr free pancakes but donations basically means yeah. free for some guys you hear the nelson nelson brothers did pretty good last night at the hawks <laughs> football game <laughs> yeah they, they don't what's that kid's nickname i don't know i think that that one guy though spencer i think he was i think he was doing better on the linebackers the defense was holding strong i know that yeah they have a solid season the boys, though, that corn ain't gonna harvest itself, so we might as well get going. Yep. Am I good, Nate? Or am I gonna scrape? Oh, You're gonna scrape. I'll back up. Oh, no. We'll, we'll be good. Look at that. <laughs> you touched it. Hey, back up. Back. <laughs> you're, you're... There we go. Come on, Buck. Hurry that Prius up. Uh, well, I mean, if you want to see what this 427's got, you could be doing that. She's uh, got something behind her, Buck. I can't even keep up with you, man. What's pretty nice is we live like super close to town, which works good for selling grain, getting groceries, all that. But we still get to enjoy the farm life. Cattle are doing good. We just got to give them some more feed here soon. What are you thinking, Buck? Do we put the 4020 on the combine or what do you want on the uh, combine? Well, probably the 5020 is going to be the best case scenario just because of the floaters that it has on there. I was going to pretty much run the Alice. I got it warming up right now because it's a bit chilly out. Alice on the carts. Are you sure those floaters are gonna work on the combine though? We're not gonna be run over beans? Okay, dryer, I'll get the 4020 warmed up and then maybe we'll put her on one of the wagons. Buck's gonna get the Alice pulled out. He's gonna get hooked up to the wagons. Let me get this planter unhooked. There we go, we should be good. Nate's gonna get the combine out. Right on the money. Yeah, right, you're close. Mind. Hold on, hold we'll on. We'll try and pull the tongue over for you. Yeah, all right, Buck. Yep. Nope, still not close enough yet. Hang on. Come on. There it is. There you go. Should be Perfect. good. Put her in drive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just straight one tire. That's oh, that good. tractor sounds good, Buck. Shift her in I got the old Alice. Get the old orange out here. Dude, that tractor is awesome. Like, the shifting animation is so... Look at him. You can see him shifting. That is so awesome. Whoever made that mod, shout out to you, man. Because, like, that is awesome. Okay, so Nate's going to get started on harvest here. Now, yes, it looks weird that we have a corn head harvesting beans. No, it's a bean head. It's a row crop bean head, Buck. Yeah, it, this is, th in case you guys haven't seen this, this is actually a thing. Like, people have, there's bean heads that look like corn heads, and this is, this is literally a thing. Um, like, we're not doing anything unrealistic here. This tire's locking up. <laughs> oh, God, this tire's going through the fender. There may be a little something unrealistic here. Other than that, we're good. Put her first and watch her go. Pretty much. Or six is where we got her. Hey, Buck, you think you got yeah. things handled? Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% sure where Nate's at, but I know he's probably going to make a couple more trips uh, or just basically in circles before he starts maybe going back and forth. But uh, actually, no, he can't because he's got the swing on there. Okay, we'll I'm going to figure gonna, it out. I'm going to go cut some hay then if you guys got things handled for a little bit. Yep, I'm going to go check him out quick, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay. 
Everybody on the farm, all three brothers, loves the Alice tractor. So let me know if the next tractor we buy should be an Alice Chalmers D21. I really want to get one on the farm, and I think it'd be really cool to have a second one. But right now, we're going to take the 4020 and cut some hay and at least get some feed for the cows right now because they're going to be low pretty soon. And we're not going to feed them soybeans. So I'll get the mower unfolded, drop her down, start her up. This is pretty darn cool, dude. I've never used this mod, but this is pretty realistic. We're Spencer oh, Hilbert right here cutting some hay. Oh gosh, we don't want to cut our soybeans. Dude, this is pretty darn realistic. I like this. Dang. Man, I always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm kind of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I'll go back where I came. Okay, we are done. That took a lot longer, but we had Buck helping out with the old D21. That was actually a perfect piece of hay. Like, it's highly readable land, so it's better to put in hay. And it, I don't know, these sickle these sickle mowers are really nice. I like them. Buck's getting around hooked. He's going to go back to wagons, and we'll probably hook up to the rake or something. Got the sickle mower dropped off. I think we're debating getting another, uh, <laughs> getting a different combine because it's taking Nate forever. He's chugging out there. Okay, Nate's still going along with the combine right now, and it's taking a while. We're done with this field. Nate is done, finally. We're done. He is done. That took way too long. Okay, Nate's going to get unloaded, and then we're going to take these beans to town because it's going to rain soon, and those beans aren't going to go if it's raining and moist out. So I wonder how much money we're going to get. I think we'll get a decent amount of money for these beans. Okay, we got one wagon full. Let's head to the co-op and unload this. Let's see it. We'll shift up into road gear. There we go. Dude, I love that shift in animation we got there. Okay, we'll pull in the elevator. And get her sold here. There we go. We'll start selling some beans. Bean prices are good. <laughs> okay, fifty-seven thousand dollars. Okay, so I we got sixty-seven thousand dollars total, which means we made like fifty-seven thousand dollars, guys. Um, we edited the map XML to be the same prices as UMRV, the last series decade we did, just so we can make good money um, as we're farming and buy more equipment and stuff. So it's realistic with another map. But one of these accidentally got screwed up, and along here we have like a $6,000 price versus like a $600 price. So we're gonna have to like somehow edit this or change something to get it to be a little more realistic price because $57,000 for like 250 bushel or 300 bushel is a lot of money. I mean, you would see farmers going to the moon with that type of money. So um, yeah, we gotta get that changed. Bucks just waiting for Nate. Nate started the next field here of soybeans and we took off $30,000 because Right now, the amount of money we're getting is insane at the elevator, and we're trying to get it to a realistic price that we had on UMRV for the last series. And it's technically the next day now. A couple changes have been made in the last 24 hours. You see, obviously, Nate run a red tractor, a front wheel assist red tractor, which is very unique. Well, you guys are asking what happened to the 5020. Well, yesterday, Nate was running the combine, and the piston blew apart, and that thing's toast. So. We got this 706 here and bought this custom 706 front wheel assist. And so that's what we're running now. I don't think there's even a single one of them out there like this with front wheel assist. It was custom added to it, but luckily that 5020 had a warranty on it still. So we got all of our money back from John Deere and he's running international now after that. Not permanently, but this is just the best chat we had available. Now really what happened guys real quick is the 5020 like mod broke like it just got really messed up so we had to switch tractors. Now we're going to take Nate's Kenworth while he's harvesting beans and actually 
We spent some of our money already. We all agreed upon it. We need another combine and for corn. So we're going to run a different combine on corn and it's going to keep going on beans. So we did have $30,000, then we have $13,000. And once we get to the dealer, I'll show you guys what we bought. Buck's rolling on hay, so he's going to knock out hay. He might need some help bailing it. But once I get back, I should be able to give him a, lend him a hand, hopefully. And it looks like we're like the first to start harvest. Some guys still have some green corn still. I'm surprised it hasn't burned up. We've been pretty darn dry around here. And got to figure out where our combine is. I think it's over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so here we are. I talked to the dealer. We ordered this special, so it's brand new. It's a John Deere 105 corn special. And we didn't get the cab kit on it. It doesn't have a cab at all, so it's going to be open station. It's got duels, and we bought a six-row corn head with it, which I was shocked that they had six-row corn heads, but they do. So this is going to be a corn-eating machine right here. And we got the grain take extension package on it also, should we, so we should be able to hold a few more bushels. Okay, let's see if she starts. Literally has zero hours on her. Here we go. Oh yeah, she starts right up. And we'll hook her up to the header. And I hope this fits on the trailer without scraping any of those new deer tractors off to our left. We should be good. It's gonna be tight, but it'll work. But the reason I want duels on this combine is for this reason. Running a six row head, you can see those tires squatting. Like, there's a good amount of weight on this combine, even when we don't have grain on it yet. Hey, Grant. Yep, got the CB in here. How much did we uh, pay for this harvester I'm using right now? Probably about like $10,000, I think, if I remember right. Okay, how much did you pay for the one you have? 17 total. Can I buy our $7,000? Can we take $7,000 to trade this back and give us a second one of those? with a bigger header? I think that would be pretty smart, but I'd be down. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was this whole thing about we have to make sure it goes through the whole family for approval? You were adopted, Buck. Killed him then, didn't you? You just oh, totally oh, killed him. Oh, 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 oh. That was messed up, man. <laughs> He's gone. You, you have to leave it on that. So we already got this combine. So before we got this combine back, Nate already wants to buy another one of these because uh, he's fed up with using the pull behind. Exactly. I've heard those things have bigger headers for beans. Well, first, Nate, how about we try her out and see how she works first? And then we'll maybe decide on getting a second one. Bro, that header's sticking like 10 feet off oh. the front. Okay, so we're in the combine. We're going to go cut some corn. Nate's in the middle of beans right now, and we're going to start on some corn because I think moisture's there, and we should be good to go. Um, we did have an issue with the corn header at the start where I accidentally had a part selected wrong, and Nate got that all fixed on the combine, so now it looks actually realistic. Okay, here we go. For the first time ever on Johnny Bro's Farms, we are going to harvest some corn. Oh yeah, this is the fun crop. Beans are a little slow, corn gets pretty darn fun. And it's looking like some tall corn too. This most likely is going to be some good yield and stuff, I think. The textures on this map are so good. Look at that. Now the only thing though, I feel like we're running out of a little horsepower on the hills. We're in some good yielding corn. We're running a six row head on this little 105. What? Okay, we're getting pretty full. You can see the tank, it's pretty darn full. So we're gonna have Nate pull beside us and do a little unloading on the go. There you go, keep going Nate. Can you hear me? I can hear you somewhat. Perfect. There you go. We're doing it. We're like the big boys. Man, we are the big boys in this situation. There you go, shift up. There you go. Oh, I'm missing some corn. Dude, this is cool. This is really cool. Okay, so we're on our second headland pass. One thing about this combine is it does take a while to unload. So Nate needs to stick by my side for like a while before we get this thing unloaded. Then we got Bucky Boy pulling up in the El Camino. There we go. There you go, Nate. Perfect. 
Hey, you two ding dongs ate breakfast yet? I know no. we had those little snacks at the thing, but I ran down and got the pancakes. The line got shorter. Okay, yeah, we'll stop here once we get unloaded. They'll just be sitting in the bed. Okay. Right on the bed. They'll be. Okay. Guys, I can't say how much I love Combine Corn with an open station cab and then having Nate with the Alice next to me. Like, this is a pretty darn cool view. Buck's gonna love it. Come on, come on, come on. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Make it, make it, make it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we made it, boys. Okay, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Nate's going and unloading the corn. But hopefully you guys enjoyed episode number one, like true episode number one of 1960s Farming. It's been fun. Hopefully we can keep scaling, getting bigger. And we got two more competition. We got another farmstead being built there and then another one built over there. That's going to be our like competition neighbors, you know, that's going to bid against us at land auctions and equipment auctions. So it'll be pretty cool. We'll have some more people on the server and that will work good. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.